This is Twit. It was 10 years ago this week, Tim Cook became CEO. Uh, it's actually a sad moment in Apple's life because Steve Jobs wrote that sad letter saying, you know, I always said uh, that when I couldn't do the job, I would step aside. And that day has come. And, uh, of course, that meant that it was time for uh, Tim Cook to become CEO. He said, I always said, if there ever came a day when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple CEO, I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, the day has come. Steve had pancreatic cancer and was really just months away from uh, death. I hereby resign as CEO of Apple. I would like to serve if the board sees fit as chairman of the board, director, and Apple employee. As far as my successor goes, I strongly recommend that we execute our succession plan and name Tim Cook as CEO of Apple. And he said something prophetic. I believe Apple's brightest and most innovative days are ahead of it. And I look forward to watching and contributing to its success in a new role. I've made some of the best friends of my life at Apple. And I thank you for all the many years of being able to work alongside you. I remember, uh, and I'm sure you do too, Dwight, when Steve took the stage a year earlier to show the iPad, we all kind of at least inwardly, if not outwardly, gasped at how thin and ill he was. Yeah, he did not look yeah. good at all. Yeah. But he was energetic, you know, on the stage. He was he was lively. He he obviously was still selling it. And uh and he but it his his figure was just incredibly gone. Yeah, yeah. And a, so a year later, August twenty fourth, twenty eleven, um ten years ago. Tim Cook takes the reins. And I think, you know, we, we talked a lot about this uh, on Tuesday on Mac Break Weekly. You can look at Tim's success and say he took it, you know, from a company that was worth maybe, I can't remember, I think half, uh, maybe 500 billion to two trillion, two and a half trillion. He had two trillion dollars to the value of the company. Um, <laughs> so... Are you skeptical on one, J.J. Stone? No, 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 no. Doctor? no, no. I'm not skeptical at all of Steve Jobs. Steve, Steve Jobs. No, I'm talking about Tim. No, no. I, I'm just talking about, and I, I'm. I give all this to Steve. Steve was from the future. He laid a groundwork yeah. that is almost coming to an end now. Like the stuff that he talked about with their campus, all. He was a man of plan for the future. Even the watch, and which came out after his death, was really his yes. Johnny Ive. So, I mean, uh, Tim Cook, great cookies and all that kind of stuff. But Steve Jobs like went in a time machine, came back, and said, this is going to be it for 10, 15 years. Now, in, in five more years, if Tim Cook keeps this arc going and I get something else thinner, faster, stronger, or whatever, I'll be like, chop, chop, great job. But Steve Jobs is just... One of those men in history and time that saw what he saw, knew what he wanted, and so you he think had Tim has been riding him. that wave ever since. He he is in a, a Tesla on autopilot with a destination pointed in the direction for him to go to. He, he, he is, is a little, he's still there, and he's got to check the wheel every he's once not in a while. Inspiring, you got in the same way. No, it, but he's a hell of a manager. You I, can't say that can't again. Say. He, I'm not taking anything away from Tim Cook. I'm just saying. That when a great man in history comes forth and lays a blueprint for you, your job is to not fluff it up. Your job is to make sure that you stay on course with what has been provided for you. And he has done that in, in a great way. He's done that in a great fashion. There's all kinds of twists and turns that he's had to adjust to that we can't see. But I know that his his outline is is following what the architect laid out for him. You are going to get just the text the messages on this one. Oh, we, hey, I, I, hey, this is where I'm at. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm up in here. No, I'm, yep, up, I'm rocking. Fine. I'm rocking with Steve. But I'm I just saying we're at the we're at the end of his fruition. Of I what don't he think saw. we'll know. Here's my position. Tim Cook was the right guy to take the job because he was an operations genius. He has made Apple run like a perfectly smooth machine. The test will be. You know, this is a hard thing. You're coming off of the most successful consumer product in, of all time, the iPhone, right? There, there has never been a product like that, and it has driven Apple's fortunes for the last, you know, whatever years, since 2007. The question is, what's next? And if, and if Tim Cook at the helm can, can find the next thing, and Tim clearly thinks it's augmented reality. He really thinks AR, AR glasses, maybe AR with a phone and the iPad, but I think it's got to be maybe his glasses, he thinks that's going to be the next big thing. Maybe the second bet is cars yeah, because they're putting a lot of money into that. The real test will be if they can bring that to fruition. If they can't, then everybody say, see, he's 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 a manager, but he's not an inspirer. And and, la and last thing, Alex, before I let you get on this, just so people don't roast me, I fully understand his value. The same thing with the M1 chip. 
Th- that prevent- actually is a big success. Th- them transferring That's that. That's a huge it, success. Especially in a time of COVID and all these people needing chips, needing processors. Now they're doing everything in-house. And they have leapfrogged themselves what, into a position what, of power. Look what Tim did. That other companies can't catch up He went to TSMC and I said, I'm going to buy every chip you can make. Yes. And as a result, Apple is not suffering from chip shortages. No. Everybody else is. Ex- again, not take anything away from the guy. Good I'm just manager. saying. All right, Alex. What do you think? You're the financial guru. What do you What do you think I, the, I uh, the think we're the underselling Tem. Is? Uh, look, I think Tim has done a simply <laughs> tremendous job. I, yeah. I, I think there's. It, it's very fine to say that Steve Jobs was a visionary, and that's that's true. And all visionaries are important. And there's, you know, as Owen said, only a couple that really stand out here and there. But I mean, the, the running of a business over a multi year period, a decade or longer, means that you've made so many decisions incrementally along the way that you really have kind of forged your own path, even if there were some product lines kind of under uh, creation when you took over. I, I think we should give him more credit because uh, business is a team job and he's done a fantastic job running that company. Now, I will say, I think there's some hubris at Apple now, and we're seeing that in the App Store fees uh, kind of fight mm-hmm. that we'll get to, I'm sure, later today. But I, I, I mean, he you know took the stock price from like 15 bucks a share to like 150. You know, while expanding the company. I mean, my gosh, that's that's genius on a level that I can't really eleven hundred percent increase in stock value. So somewhere in there, I pulled the chart up. That's it's approximate, but it's it, it's absolutely historical what he's pulled off. And so he also, know, by the way, I should point out, historic is getting a seven hundred fifty million dollar bonus from Apple on his tenth anniversary. <laughs> So somebody likes him. I bet he's got an That's Apple cheap. card. <laughs> <laughs> What's after well, a black card? What comes after a black card? It, there is no card. It's literally just, here, Tim take, Cook? Things. take things. I'll take this. Thank you very much. Bill me. Have you ever seen the, so, the, 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 the yacht references to wealth? No. Like, there's, I'll find it for you. There's a, a, there's a picture of a millionaire's yacht. And it's, it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's got a helicopter pad on it. Yeah. Then there's a billionaire's yacht, yeah. and it looks like a cruise ship with two helicopter pads, and, and the yacht docks inside of the yacht. And there's a submarine. Yes. And there's a submarine. That, that's the billion-dollar yacht. And I'm like, man, alive. Like, <laughs> come on. Like, what, how much money do you need? And, you, and you're on there with, like, three people. Like, what are we doing? Like, who, who needs whoa, whoa, these whoa, whoa, things? Whoa, whoa. No, you're not, because you have at least 30 staff oh, on true. the large boat. Oh, well, <laughs> As, yeah, um, he's Alex, building the economy. Alex, you know, you're, you're as, making you're a job creator. I, as as hanging out with billionaires, those aren't considered people. <laughs> we just oh right, just right, there. right, right. We don't count don't them. them. We don't count the staff yeah, yeah, yeah. as personnel. You know, no, when you get on the boat. I mean, you know. to be clear though, I don't <laughs> suffer from having a, a billion dollar boat problem. But if someone listening to Twit does, I will happily alleviate that by showing up and taking it off your hands. So just call me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you could be one of the people. Dwight, get on this boat. You're retired. We can do it. Let's, let's you, just you, well, all you, chip in and start floating. Actually, yeah, I'd like Dwight's opinion because, Dwight, you covered Apple from the beginning. You covered the, Steve's passing and Tim Cook's ascendance. Has he been a? Has he been everything? Uh, I think he's been everything they wanted him to be. I think uh, he definitely was the right person at the right time. You talked about him as a, as a supply chain genius, and that's exactly what they needed at that time. I don't think that he... I, I think he he has tried to, or he has let the press give him a lot of credit for the watch, as his like his product, and it it really kind of as as Owen said, it was in the pipeline before, and a lot of the things that Apple has done, uh, they have there's already been precedent for doing it. So the M1 chip, which I think is really genius, and we have yet to see the full results of being able to have the same chip in uh, a smartphone and in a, a, a computer. Um, I think that, uh, that that had been done before. Apple had been through two other chip transitions. They know how to do that. Um, and they had been working on this for quite some time. There's a lot of precedent for what they do, but they're able to push the precedent forward and make it relevant to the current situation. And that's as much genius as anything. Yeah. And I think, actually, I'm going to re- rewrite my... Uh my uh, comments because I, f- I forgot that that is clearly the uh, Apple Silicon is something that had happened under Tim Cook and Again, it probably could I, only yes. have happened under Tim and, Cook. Uh, just, just to say it out loud for the people. I love Tim Cook. I believe in what he's done. I believe he is a great steward for this ship and I believe in him going forward. I'm just saying. Tesla was built. You drive the Tesla. It, it, it's on a straight line. Now, we're at the end of the vision. So you're saying it's full self-driving Apple? T- till now. We're at the end of of 
Steve Jobs' vision of what he had put forth on documentation where you could read right. things that he said. We're at the end of that. Well, and you can, but you can has see to, that with the iPhone. It's only been incremental yes. upgrades over the last few years, although the latest rumor, and I don't know whether to credit this, is the next iPhone, which comes out in the next few weeks, will be able to talk to low-Earth orbit satellites and won't need to use a cellular network uh, at all. I don't buy that. Tim, is that a crazy that. rumor? That can't be. I don't buy that. Bottom line, okay. Tim's a I genius. I know he's a genius. He's a good guy. I know. You want to give him credit. <laughs> good for you.